you've done to Alistair Rhodes? These are the only people I trust. We will do whatever it takes to get your father back. Did you find what you were looking for? Damn right we found it. We're not the first ones in here. you're doing scarlet all right that was epic ancient evil lads the trailer had everything i've ever wanted it had asmr everything i've ever wanted after watching this trailer i'm feeling something this weird thing called positivity for cod zombies what the what year is it lads what the fuck? i just pray that the community is positive about this too what's that Mr. Telex, if I tweeted that if you want to play Black Ops 4, you are mentally deficient. That's... that's as positive as we'll get, lads. Thumbs up from me. But in seriousness, reactions to this trailer, I am seeing a lot of positivity, myself included. And I was thinking about this earlier, that I just hope, even for one day, that this DLC makes for the community feel like Black Ops 3. I was thinking about, like... I don't really miss Black Ops 3 Zombies. If I want to play it, I can load it up and I can play it. But the thing I miss is the community. So I'm going to like really get into this map. I'm going to play it. I'm going to learn it. I'm going to watch the Easter Egg Hunts. I didn't even watch the Easter Egg Hunts for the last map. And I just want to feel, like I said, even if it's just for a day, like I'm back in 2016 in that Zombies community. But also, talking about positivity and negativity, I'm not going to name any names. <clears throat> I already did, but there's some people in the community that are just toxic, man, and I don't want to call them out or say anything to be toxic myself, but seriously, some people in this community that I used to, I used to look up to, I used to be inspired by, are now just annoying. The over-negativity is just annoying, and I'm not talking about any of you guys, my brethren, I'm talking about, like, influences in the community. Let's talk about the heckin' map and trailer, shall we? Number one, epic moment for us gamers out back. You know, this trailer. Man, this is why DLC 1 should have had a trailer. This is hype. It's exciting and it looks good. Like, I don't know, it just looks good. I don't know how, how to like put it into words. It's spicy. It's zesty. Now, this is not DLC 4, it's DLC 2, but it's the finale to this storyline, the chaos story for Black Ops 4. So to me, I kind of want this map to be a DLC 4, if you get me, like, the DLC 4, the finale map of Zombies, is not only this kind of big, epic, grand quest. I mean, just look at Origins, just walking in that map is epic, it's a, it's a quest, it's grand. By that I means sludging through the bloody mud, but you get me. One thing that I love about this map already is the aesthetic, it's... Wait, 
wait, wait. This map is buried too. No, seriously, I'm, I'm being serious. Think about it. This map is buried too. They're both buried civilizations. And uh, that's about it, really. Actually, wait, no, they both have women in. You know, there's that woman who's shackled up. And there's the ghost woman in buried. It's the same. It's buried too. It's buried too. But seriously, the aesthetic, the character of the map is already clicking with me. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like this kind of Greek underground hidden temple city. It's like Atlantis, but not underwater. But it's not dark either, you know. It's not It's not like uh, you're just in a cave or something. It's actually quite bright and colourful. There's a horse, a pegasus with wings. That's crazy. Like, let me ride that around. It's too early to tell if this map is actually going to be bad, good, great, you know. And even the first day of playing will be too early. Our opinions could change after a week or after months of playing this map. But what I'm saying is, we need a great map. We need an instant classic. If you guys remember back to Mob of the Dead, that map single-handedly saved Black Ops 2 zombies. You know, if you look at Transit and Diarize then to Mob of the Dead, that map was really like, this is where zombies is going. This is what the next generation of zombies will be like, and it was. The map was way ahead of its time. Then look at a map like De Isendrak. That in Black Ops 3, instant classic. As soon as it came out, instant classic. And still, three years later, is like looked at as up there. Up there at the mountaintop of zombies maps. And I'm telling you, Black Ops 4 needs one map. Just one map like that. You know, we had four launch maps. But when I load up the game, I'm not going to lie... The maps are underwhelming. All five of them. Five maps right there. Like, I love Nine, I love Classified, I like Blood, and I like Dead of the Night. Voyage can sink, but like, like, I don't know man, we just need one of those maps which is that good. An instant classic, a masterpiece. Hopefully this map, this DLC, is the spark that reignites the zombies community, you know. We need a good fire, we need to be sound fire. Uh, or it could just be step one, you know, if this map is good, good or great and then we know that i don't want to put it like this but i will the ether storyline returns afterwards dlc 3 dlc 4 5 and 6 you get me it's like the main event the main course is coming up let's pray let's make a ritual right now and hope that number one blue screens stay dead i literally got one the other day but okay and then let's hope for a good easter egg hunt which is not ruined by people cheating and Completing it using, what's it called for custom things? Custom mutations, because that's a thing that just keeps popping up. And let's hope that the Easter egg hunt lasts more than six hours. And I think that's all I've got to say, lads. This was kind of a reaction to the trailer, kind of a, a commentary on the zombies community and what this DLC could be, and just my thoughts on what I saw. So, yeah, lads. Stay spicy. I've said lads way too much recently. So, uh, see you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>